Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado D generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you have one of those, if you have a problem where you have no sound coming from the radio speakers, no sound, we will explain what can cause that, how we can fix it, what we see quite often in the garage, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff guys why we do all that because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free now guys we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so if you guys have no sound coming from the radio, from the speakers, what can cause that, we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Silverado right here. The first thing you want to check is two fuses for the radio and the uh, amplifier, sound amplifier. Even if they're good, you want to pull these fuses for about a minute for the system to reset, plug them back in, see if that fixes the problem. If not, we'll explain what else causes it. Most people that own this truck do not know how many hidden fuses, fuse boxes are in that generation Chevy Silverado. If you have that generation Chevy Silverado, please check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chevy Silverado. What you guys need to do now specifically, you need to open the passenger door and on the side of the dash you have a cover, pull that cover. Behind it you will find a fuse box with a layout like this one for 2014 through 16 model and layout like that for 2017 through 19 model. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you will lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. Now guys, quick thing, if you need to buy fuses, relays, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time guys, we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out, that way you do not waste money and time. So guys, here, what we need to check, two fuses, please make sure to stay until the end, we want to share one good advice with you, that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. For 2014 to 16 model, if we zoom in a little bit guys, the fuse that we will need to check now will be known as fuse number 18, that fuse right here. Okay, even if it's good, pull it and let the system seal without it for a minute, plug it back in. The next fuse is fuse number 36, that's the main sound amplifier fuse. Most of the times that will be the cause for your no sound blown fuse here. But even if it's still good, unplug it, let it seal for about a minute, plug it back in. For 2017 through 19, the fuses will be uh, practically the same, 18 and 36. If that doesn't fix the problem, what else do you need to do? In some cases, it might be loose connection behind the radio. We've seen that happen. Uh, another thing that we see quite often, guys, is a bad sound amplifier. We hope that's not the case because it will be more expensive. But sound, bad sound amplifier can cause no sound at all. And we've seen that happen on BMW, Chevy, Sports, quite a few uh, vehicles, guys, having that problem. But those are the most common things we see at the garage. Now, guys, you have all kinds of different fuses and relays in that Chevy Silverado. You have different fuses, relays that could be really hard to find, especially if you're in the middle of nowhere. And uh, one time we needed a replacement one, we couldn't get one, we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that. So what we do now, we always get some spare fuses, relays, keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind, guys, that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.